Hello, my name is Mario. Welcome to another system design video. In today's episode, I'm sharing with you how to implement a gRPC service, specifically a gRPC server streaming RPC. So what is a gRPC server streaming RPC? It's one of the three streaming RPC types, where a client sends a request to the server and gets a streaming to read a sequence of messages back. The final implementation of this example would look like this. This is a simple CLI client that happens to be using the server streaming RPC. The use case of this example consists of a server that is streaming data to some clients. In this case will be a hypothetical wearable device that is measuring heartbeats per minute. Let's look at the code. As usual, the link to this code is in the description of this video, so feel free to check it out. The first thing that we need to do is implement the protocol buffer for this wearable service. For doing that, let's create a new folder called wearable. Inside this folder, we create another folder called v1, and inside this folder, we create a wearable service.proto. We save it, and because this is at least super similar to the user service, we're going to be copying that one over, and we're going to make some modifications. First one will be the package will be wearable, similarly wearable here, similarly wearable here. You don't need to import the user proto because we are not going to be using it. User will be changed to wearable service. We're going to implement in a function called bits per minute that receives a bits per minute request and returns a bits per minute response. But the important bit here is this called the stream, this is the keyword for returning streams in gRPC. What comes next is implementing the actual messages for the two types that we're going to be using. Request will be using the same field and response is going to be returning two values. One of them will be a uint32 to indicate the value of the heartbeat. And the second will be a second to indicate the second, or rather, not the second, the minute, to indicate the minute when this value was executed. After that, if we run buff lint, you will notice everything is fine. We run buff generate, and now we should have a few new files on the gen, now wearable, and we have this gRPC that I have right here. This one is one of the important files that we're going to be referring to in a few seconds. So if we open it, I want to show you a few things. We're going to be looking for a type called server, which is an interface type that it allows us to indicate what we need to implement for the server that is going to be implementing the streaming RPC. So I, what I like doing when working with these types is just copy the values, go into the actual server implementation, which in this case, in this case is under examples, server main, but instead of adding a new type like I did here, I'm going to create a new file that is going to be used for representing this new wearable service. So let's open a file. Let's call it wearable service dot go. We paste this for now for reference and we're going to be defining a new type wearable server a struct type that implements the wearable PV uh, what are you? The yeah, unimplemented wearable server. This is like I mentioned previously to keep forward compatibility with future implementations. Next, what we need to define is a function w wearable. We can read of this wearable server called bits per minute that receives a request from wearable PB. which is this request. And next, the stream, stream. Again, we're gonna copy and paste all of this and returns an error. For now, let me return nil. Because we're implementing a stream, what this means in practice is that we're going to be sending data constantly until we, the server, decide to stop sending data or the client decides to leave and, you know, we can close the connection. For doing this, we need to implement it via using a for and a few different things that are going to be used via the stream using the select keyword. A stream includes a context right here, in case stream 
context done when that happens we just return actually when that happens we re instead of returning nil we need to return something so we need to return error codes cancelled and then some message in this case stream has ended in the case well it was cancelled and we cannot do anything else about it so what we have to do afterwards we save it so we can pull the other details like these packages followed by how can we send the data now that we have this infinite loop for the four next we have to actually do the, the actual sending the actual values so we're going to be using a default statement that for this hypothetical case we're going to be sleeping for one minute one scroll up a little bit time minute then we're going to be generating some random value um in this case used to keep it more or less uh how can we just say humanly possible we're going to be adding the 30 and some 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 other random value between 80 so that will give us some bits per minute that more or less as, as uh, is real next we're going to be calling this variable that we have right here you call the stream that is the one that is actually being, going to be sending data so a stream there is a function called send where are you send a message that we need to send the data to the stream and this message is actually the protocol buffer message that we defined before in the response okay so we stream we do a stream send message a wearable pv bits per minute response it has to be a pointer to that type the value will be the hypothetical value right here value so an in 32 followed by the minute which in this case will be time dot now dot second in in 32 okay so everything seems to be working there is a oh because it's supposed to be a u int all right so everything seems to be work, working as expected obviously this one if you well you, maybe you don't know about this but this returns an error right here so we need to consider this error when we're implementing our code so if we go back we just assign an error if error is different than nil well we can return something similar like a status error codes let me open this up a little, I mean no I scroll up a little bit cancelled stream has ended I'm going to be covering errors in the new uh, gear PC errors specifically in the near future because those have a little bit uh, they are a little bit more not complicated but they require some thought when implementing them so one last thing that we need to do is go back to the server the instantiation of the wearable server type that we define in the same package in the main package and then what we have to do is just register that with the grp server grpc server that we have before so register let me scroll up this again we don't have a space so register wearable service server grpc server and the thing so this will compile if we go ahead and we go to go around examples a uh, server star well everything is going to be running now we need to implement the client so let's do that for implementing the client we need to call the generated client code in this case i already added a skeleton i call it the stream client and what this stream client has at the moment is a bunch of code that refers to just the definition of the cli and those kind of things not nothing that is relevant to the grpc server streaming implementation so what should we do well we're going to be copying a few things from the other client and we're going to be calling the required methods that we need for this so i'm going to be open the previous client that i used before uh, we're going to be copying this over uh, it's, it's not called user pv we are not going to be using a pv we're going to be using wearable pv new wearable service client and the connection okay so everything seems to be working so far there what comes next is actually invoke the connection and for doing that we called 
client dot bits per minute context background wearable the parameter that we're supposed to be passing into the server in this case it doesn't matter uh, we call it Mario for that and the error so this one the, the one that I have right here called stream is the one that I was referring to a while ago that's the thing that I want to be we're going to be looping until we have the data that we need or we, we want to exit and those kind of things so okay so we save if there is an error obviously we need to exit so log fatal and client error error what comes next is because we want to pull the data for until we have no more data or we decide to leave we're going to be calling the function that is in the stream using a coroutine for doing that we are going to be also defining another for loop we're going to be using the stream and there is a function called receive that is right here that returns the response that we implemented in the protocol buffer in the gRPC service all right, so we go and call it uh, receive. This is a blocking method. That's why I'm implementing it in a go routine. So we have the value error. If there is an error, we use leave. But also, if the error is IOF of end of file, we use return. We use log fatal and in the case of receive stream receive just so we have some information we don't need to return because it will exit anyways and then what we have to do next and this is more related to the way this cli package work is that there's a data here that probably you notice right here so what we're going to be doing is updating for each minute the field with the value that we're receiving there are 60 minutes in this graph so we're going to be receiving obviously for each minute the value and then uh, reassigning that at in the index that it corresponds so we have end rest rate value get minute equals a float because that's what is expected in the data again it's right here so if we go back Float, let me scroll up a little bit. Float value get value. We save this and then we need to call LC data again. This is has nothing to do with ERPC. This is how the uh, this specific package works. And finally, we call render again. With this, what is going to happen if you scroll up a little bit is that it's going to be taking creating a new go routine is going to be blocking until there is a new value being received and then it's updating this slice that we have and it's going to be re-rendering it again what we have to do next is also support the context that is coming from the client from in this case the stream client so case stream context done oh i'm missing the operator right here so if in this case right there in this case if it's finished we can print the land you know complete it if we compile this it should be okay I still have run in my server if I do a go run examples streaming client now this is working but now it's going to take one minute to actually show each one of the values let's do one more change so you can see this in action but in practice this should be one minute because we are referring to using it per minute for doing that we're going to be back going back to the implementation of the service we're going to be changing this to second and then we can rerun it again and you will see the values being changed as we go which is what i show you in the beginning of this video and that's it. That's how you implement a gRPC server streaming RPC in Go. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you next time. Stay safe and take care.